whether you ever served in the armed forces or not, I'm sure you are. Acquainted with how the military ranks its enlisted men and officers. In the army, for example, we have generals at the top and then down through. Colonels, majors, captains, and lieutenants. Do you know that God also ranks angels? Our Lord even used a military term once in connection with angels. When Jesus was about to be taken in the Garden of Gethsemane, Peter took out a sword and tried to protect the one he had come to love and serve. Jesus said, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? Matt 26 colon 53 The word legion was a Roman military designation referring to about 6,000 soldiers. These are their orders and special classes. 1. The Cherubim These are the first of the angelic order to appear in the Bible, right after Adam's and Eve's fall from grace. Genesis 3 records the events in the Garden of Eden. Having violated God's command not to partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it would have been possible for Adam and Eve to reach out their hands and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever, v. 22. So they had to be expelled from their earthly paradise. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken, v. 23. But what would have prevented Adam from returning to the garden, too? Disobey God once more? The next verse gives the answer, He, God, placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubim, and a flaming sword, which turned every way, to keep the way of the tree of life. V. 24. Strangely enough, the next appearance of the cherubim in the Bible concerns regaining what was lost. In Exodus 25, Moses was given explicit and detailed instructions on how to make various articles of furniture that would be used in the tabernacle. The first described was the Ark of the Covenant and the Mercy Seat, where God promised to meet and commune with Moses. The second division is the Seraphim. The Seraphim are also known as the Burning Ones. Isaiah 6 tells us of the Seraphim. Isaiah recorded his glorious vision in these words, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim, each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly, v. 1, 2. What were the seraphim doing? And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his. Glory, v. 3. Just as the cherubim protect the glory, the seraphim likewise also proclaim the glory of his holiness. The four beasts also known as the four living creatures are the third of the special group. Revelation 4 verse 8 declares, And the four beasts, living creatures, had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, and is, and is to come. Their special ministry, then, is to worship God and give Him glory. Throughout all time and eternity. We read of them again in Revelation 5, 7, and 19. In each instance, they are depicted in an attitude of worship and praise. In Revelation 15, however, they participate in the pouring out of the wrath of God on unrepentant men, holy ones, and watchers. There are various minor categories of angels mentioned in the Bible, such as holy ones and watchers. Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar reported, I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and a holy one came down from heaven. Dan 4.13. They announced judgment by the decree of the watchers, 
and the demand by the word of the holy ones, verse 17. Then, the king saw a watcher and a holy one coming down from heaven, verse 23. Could these watchers and holy ones still be at work today? Not neglecting we have the archangels also mention. As Daniel testified, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me in Daniel 10 verse 13.